think I will probably start all of my vlogs right here with crazy hair. So we are just having some lunch. I'm just having a good old sandwich. We are running low on ingredients. So I'm having sandwich and raspberries. I'm probably gonna finish this off. Um, and then I gave Harper a little deconstructed version. I'm not gonna show her eating it because she doesn't have her shirt on. So we're just eating lunch. I have to post the vlog that you saw yesterday and then we need to run to the grocery store so that I, I was supposed to do that a couple nights ago and then I fell asleep and said, hi Harper. Say hi. Say I have your lipstick all over my face, mom. <laughs> Should we get some strawberries? These look good. Those look good. There is a quick little grocery haul. I got some um, waffles for Harper. This is a really easy snack for her. Some wraps, some uh, popcorn that I thought I would try. I've never tried that before. Some tortilla chips, although I now am realizing that I forgot the guacamole to go with it because I thought that'd be a nice healthy snack. Some strawberries, I'm <laughs> going in a random order. Jam because I got some of this the other day. It's um, pancake mix that I've never tried before. So I needed jam to go with it because I typically don't like um, syrup on my pancakes and I also would prefer Harper to have jam versus syrup. So a coleslaw for a couple different recipes. I'm making um, Thai turkey burgers and it wanted me to make a sauce to go with it that was like way too many steps for me and so I'm like maybe I could just pick up an Asian dressing and skip having to make the sauce. But I couldn't find an Asian dressing, so I picked up both of these. That's what the coleslaw is for, too. I got some tomatoes, onions. Tonight I'm making turkey um, tacos. Peaches for some snacks. Um, chicken, deli meat for snacks for Harper and for sandwiches and things like that. Cheese. I did find um, an organic Smart Flow from Gerber. I know I talked about that in my last vlog, so they do have that. So I got those. Sour cream for the turkey tacos. Some um, yogurt. I'm typically not a yogurt person, but last week I picked up this stuff and I really, really liked it. It was a nice, easy go-to snack and I put this in my yogurt and it made it to where I wanted to eat yogurt every day. But I had just bought like two little things of yogurt. So I picked up a nice big thing of yogurt. And then I saw this, it looked kind of interesting. It's the Aveeno Positively Radiant 60 Second In Shower Facial. Those are the kind of facials I'm needing these days. 60 seconds and in the shower, multitasking. And then I got some Hello Toothpaste for Harper and then some Olay. Um, this was $10 again. I feel like lately, lately I just need easy skincare. This was $10. I'm like getting out of the phase of wanting to spend $50 on face cream. So I'm gonna try that out, see how that works. Did I say the wraps? And then I got the ground turkey for the um, tacos tonight. So that is my quick little grocery haul. So now these I can take. Nice, easy storage. Okay, case in point, I had this whole box in here taking up all sorts of space. <laughs> and I emptied it, and I put them in two of the pouches here on the door. So you can see the space-saving abilities that this thing has. I am like shoe holder's biggest advocate, biggest fan. <laughs> I will have the one that we got on Amazon linked down below if you want to get the same one. It's definitely nice to have them like you need to have them be um, clear. I went to Walmart trying to pick some up so I didn't have to order it online but the ones that they had were fabric and so you couldn't see what was inside so I had to order it on Amazon. Dinner is almost ready to go. I have the taco meat just simmering there so I just have to chop up these two and here are all of the fixings we are ready to eat harper has already started on some tomatoes and cheese because she was getting a little impatient huh just a little bit <laughs> yeah so joe likes his in a hard taco and i like mine in a burrito style i love taco night so easy
both flights of stairs. So it is Sunday morning and I'm quickly making waffles before we have to go to church. Joe is um, upstairs getting Harper ready. By waffles, I mean pancakes. Um, I'm trying out that new pancake mix. It definitely kind of looks and smells interesting, but we'll see. So far, so good. It's definitely thicker than the other pancake batters that I've made, but I feel like that would make it good. It's actually really, really good. This is the pancake mix that I tried. I just got it at my um, local grocery store. It's actually really good. It has like a cinnamon flavor, although it doesn't say that they're cinnamon. Hey guys, so it is actually Monday now. On Sunday we went to church and then directly from church we went over to my brother's house. I don't know if I've explained before, but I have three brothers that live here and their families and then Joe has a brother that lives here and he got married. They actually, um, he proposed to her um, at our house a couple summers, three summers ago now maybe? I don't remember, but um, it was on a vlog. <laughs> so let me know if you remember that vlog. So yeah, yesterday we went to my brother's house after church. I was gonna end this vlog and then I remember that I left last vlog on a little bit of a cliffhanger. So I thought that I would revisit that for you guys. This is completely non-important, useless information, but for those of you that care. So for above the fireplace, what I want to do is I'll see if I can find a picture of it and share that. But basically I want to get um, a whole bunch of like um, reclaimed wood and like make like a big pallet out of it to where it's pretty tall and probably like the width of the fireplace. And I want it to be like very rustic. I want to like spray paint or somehow put a quote on it, but I want the quote to be like pretty big, like the letters to take up the majority of the wood. I want this room to be very rustic, elegant, elegant, rustic. So I feel like I have the elegance with the chandelier and the lights and everything. Um, and the fireplace itself I think is very elegant. So I think a nice, just like rustic, hardy piece up there would look really nice. And then I would probably get two like square picture frames on either side and have like family photos in there, like black and white family photos or something. The hard part is finding a quote. I, it, would, it wouldn't be hard to find a quote, but it would be hard to choose a quote. I feel like there are so many scriptures and even like so many times where I'm singing a hymn in church and a line like just really hits me and I always think to myself like, oh, I wanna like frame this line or this verse and see it every day because it really touches me. And so I know that there's been so many times where I've said that to myself. So now like tracking down <laughs> one of those, one of the favorite quotes that I originally thought to put up there um, was, I can't remember who it's a quote from, but it's in, um, it's a wonderful life. I think is the movie. It's a Christmas movie, like an old school Christmas movie. And there's a part where he's looking at um, a picture frame on the wall and it has this quote. And Joe and I just love that quote because it really just reminds us of what is really important in this life and what isn't important in life. The most important thing in life is just what we do for others and serving others and being kind to others. And the charity that we show others is really, that's what we take with us when this life is over. You can't take your house with you, you can't take your car with you, you can't take your outfit that you just bought yesterday with you or whatever silly material thing is. <laughs> really, it's the experiences and the memories and the love that you show each other that you can really take with you in this life and really that's the most important thing in this life. And so I think having that quote right here would just be such a nice reminder of what life is really about. And I think it would be nice for like visitors and like guests that we have 
to see that quote and for them to get that reminder too. But there's so many quotes that I love that it's hard to like dedicate yourself to one quote to put on your wall. Let me know what you guys would put. If you had a big quote in your house, like one of the first things that your guests see and something that you would really want to kind of sum up what your life and family and home is about, let me know what that quote would be. I would love to know whether it's a scripture or a verse in a song or a quote or whatever it is. I would love to know what you guys would put on your wall. So anywho, with that, I am going to end the vlog with my frizzy hair. I like halfway blow dried my hair and halfway letting it dry and apparently don't do that because it is, I also have a wrinkly shirt on, so there you go. <laughs> Anywho, I need to put down the camera so that I can pick up the camera and vlog today for tomorrow's vlog. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.